What's good, neighborhood? So, another day in the books, and it's 5 Pacific, or uh, a little bit after. But uh, with that being said, that means it's time for another gaming session right here at Ace's Place, alongside your favorite rookie. Look, we got just a few more hours before Megaton Musashi unlocks for all other players all over the world who have pre-ordered this game on the other systems like Steam and Nintendo Switch and such. You know, again, for those of us that pre-ordered on PS5, we were lucky and we were fortunate to have 72 hours of early access to really sit down, play, and enjoy this game. And now, I am totally looking forward to the rest of the world having access to this excellent piece of software. Oh, let me take just a brief moment right here. Let me go ahead and make sure that I've got the retweet going out for the stream because it's about to go down. All right, so we've got that out of the way. I've got uh, got a quick little uh, snack slash dinner sitting right up here waiting for me. But uh, hey, it's time to go ahead and get right to it. Uh, now, as far as games coming up on the channel, uh, the uh, review embargo has been lifted for Stellar Blade, and needless to say, the usual suspects have been out in force. We can get more into that once we actually get down to streaming Stellar Blade, starting. Friday afternoon at 5 p.m. Pacific. Most of you that have pre-ordered it are probably going to be playing it once it unlocks tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Pacific or, you know, <laughs> midnight Eastern on, you know, may, may, sorry, midnight Eastern on April 26th. For those of you that do and get in that game time before I do, I hope you enjoy. Trust me, I will be out there on the battlefield with you once I get home from work and get everything updated. So yeah, Stellar Blade is going to be my reward for a long, difficult day's work. But that being said, though, let's get ourselves onto some Megaton Musashi. It's time to suit up, y'all. If y'all are ready to see just a little bit more action, y'all know what to do. Make yourselves comfy. Pull up a chair and kick up your feet. Just remember to leave your shoes at the front door so that way we don't get any footprints on the tile, the carpet, or the furniture. And on that note... Ladies and gentlemen, kings, queens, and everything in between, it's game time. Oh yeah, I had to update the system, so it kind of turned off the controller. There we go. Musashi! Let's rock and roll. Woo. Now you see, they go, oh yeah, that's right. After we finished up that story segment, you know, basically end of season one, it give it gave us a new game plus option. Which means we could go back through it with all the gear and all the levels, you know, we could play back through all the story with all the gear and all the levels that we just, that we had acquired over this first 23 hours that I spent with this game. Alright, here we go. Version 3.02, sorry, version 3.0.2 downloaded. Details in the notices menu, huh? Hello! 
I guess now that the game's basically going to be out in the wild, we're starting to get stuff like login bonuses. Now, here's the thing. Where login bonuses and certain things like the Coliseum suggest, you know, there is an online component, I can most I can most assuredly say that this game is playable offline. The entirety of the story content is playable and enjoyable offline. So you ain't got to worry about constantly being connected, especially if you refuse to connect it to uh, Epic Games account, like like it tried to request when you first, you know, when I first booted this thing up. So, Epic Games account be damned. Musashi is still Musashi. Hello. So you know what? Let's take a quick peek. Let's see what else is on the notices board. What have we got? Online content update. Ah. Oh, the patch notes are online, of course. Can't read them here. Let's see, Colosseum Battle Season 1. I'm reaching Diamond Rank. You can acquire rogues that are exclusive to Season Rewards. Rogue parts as Season Rewards can only be used for hollow casing and during the season after Diamond Rank has been achieved. Please be aware these parts will be deleted from your inventory once the usage period has ended. Okay. So these are all temporary. Interesting. Login bonus for the wired release. And... Standard login bonus. Okie dokie. What's been delivered? Update rewards! Uh, including drop cartridge, treasure key cartridge experience, and coliseum cartridge. And gold metal. We've got more drop cartridges and more gold metal. And that's that. Well, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make some moves. Let's move forward with the story. Um, I did do a little bit more. Of as you could probably imagine, I did do a little bit more offline because, well. Again, like I said, it's it, it's it's tough to put this game down. Mmm, sushi. So here we go. Oh, wait. Now that they actually put that up there, why, why does Arsham look so much like his sister? ヤマトは何か変だぞ。別に燃え尽き症候群ってやつか。なあ、久しぶりに3人で芸船行かないか。やめとく。え一大事かあなたは Wait a minute. Hold up. I just got a notice. Don't <laughs> 
むしろジャンプ中は節電のためあんまり危機をいじれないんですそういうことかよ Hold up 余計なお世話だったみたいだね Hold up Okay so 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 check this out Remember how I was talking about how Megaton Musashi should be available you know later on tonight aka midnight tomorrow well guess what did any of y'all pre-order this on Steam Megaton Musashi Wired is now available for purchase on Steam. If you were looking to pick this game up on PC, the floodgates done open, people. Snatch it up. Ooh, man, that was, that's, that's, that's some good news. That is some damn good news. ははあ。うるせえ。ところでよ、お前。山とのやつが船系になった理由知ってるか。うん、大体は。マジか。欲しいのよ。異星人に恋したのさ。ああ。冗談やめろ。真剣に聞いてんだ。悪かった。私は地球人とシドルの民が共に手を取り合って生きる世界を作りたいのです生きてるよなあれだけでけえこと言ったんだからよお前の志ありだとは思ってるがその道を切り開くためにも俺は目の前の敵をぶっ倒す俺にできることはそれしかねえからな。Hey, gotta say when when all you know is how to throw hands, sometimes you gotta just focus on that. そういえばジュン、体。もう平気なのかな<笑> Oh, now her memories are starting to come back too? そうか。ことは慎重に動かす。女王の力は強大だ。絶対に感づかれるな。ご安心ください。抜かりはありません。<笑>古きものを壊してこそ、新しきものが生まれるのだ。グリファースを処刑する。なんと私は女王勢あやつの考えていることなど手に取るようにわかるグリファースはアーシェム様の一件で少々冷静な思考をならぬ牢獄を兵で囲み確実に仕留めるですが<笑>その必要はございませんブリファース貴様一体何をお望みならばこの首陛下自らの手でお切りくださいうん喋ってくれないのかい異星人さんよ何度も言うが、oh. 俺は異星人を憎んでなんかいないぜ。Okay, that is, that is an excellent character name right there. 
for an older pro he he might actually be an older protagonist just by the name alone this scruffy scoundrel looking dude and his name is Victor Jaeger okay keep talking前に会った異星人君が喋ってくれたんだけどな。お前がドラクターか。ドラクター。それが我々の呼び名か。殺せ。ああ、すぐに楽にしてやる。だがその前に少し話がしたい。なぜお前たちは地球を襲った。I guess when Griefus said that there were people actually living outside the shelter, he was right. Time to move. Let's go. ヤマト君、待ってたよ。おう。ね、イーグルブースターが何だって。以前天童さんからも言われてたと思うけど、イーグルブースターは不完全だったんだ。それを改良して安定させた。連続噴射が可能になったんだ。つまり自由に空を
Bonus Takumi Pilot Quest. Recommended level 30. In the pilot's shoes. Okay. So, Kendaichi is about to get behind the wheel. Here we go. Mission start. Actually, I've always wanted to do it. パイロットの気持ちが分かるって言っても、俺自身半信半疑だし。近くに敵がいるわ There we go. All right, let's let's get him in that sucker. Still coming after me! Help! Ah! I was about to say, hurry up and fade out, bullets. Okay, hold up. Can someone point me to where I can download this soundtrack? Please. Because this... This is heat. Make the moves, Tech. Make the moves. Oh, ow. No, 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 no. Just waiting for a fusion type to show up. Oh, never mind. That's it. That is mission accomplished. Takumi Kindaichi. Way to go, glasses.
ではパイロット1名追加登録っと名前は金田一匠ねはい手続き終了 and done いいんですか俺がパイロットやっても人材は大いに越したことはないのやった Look at you Look Look at you Takumi Cross trained <laughs> Besides Having a pilot who is like having a pilot who is that much of a specialist at the inner workings of what they're piloting. Because again, Ta Takumi, his dad built Musashi. So having the son of the man that built your shit piloting one of those bad boys, I mean, that's like. That, that's pretty much like having a field medic in your platoon. You know, someone who not only is well-versed with tactics and with you know, armaments, but also someone who's like, okay, I know why this broke down. Let me fix it real quick, get you back in the fight. Excellent work. Looking forward to this. Let's go. Oop. お待ちしていました出撃要請の確認をお願いします All right. What do we got for deployment? Red skies can already go <coughs> hello let's put this on experts since I'm pretty much up there at that level I need some better dual blades Said I need better dual blades. Ask and you shall receive. Let's see what we have for sword and shield. Bang. And I know we got better punchers. Slots, but they're all empty. Yes, I'll take that.
machine gun? Oh yeah. Okay, just had to check and see if there were any, uh, any level threes that I had access to. ヤマト、
武器装タイプ確認ホールクリアロードバランサーパラメータサイナスメガトンストラテジーシステム連動出撃ゲートオープンヤマト出撃する Missions that take place in the air are known as aerial missions. They require you to fight enemies in every direction while changing your altitude. Oh, okay, so this isn't... <laughs> okay. In, in the Gundam Musou games, when you are fighting and you are not on land, so when you are in a space battle, when you are outside any sort of structure and your mobile suit's feet are not touching the ground or touching any sort of surface underneath you, there is still a lateral plane across which you move, and it basically plays the same. There is no change in controls, which is fine. It, it plays the way it needs to for the type of game that it is. But here, they're introducing straight up omnidirectional aerial battle. We're talking dogfighting, essentially. Yes, I will say this again. Mecha dogfighting. Let's go. そう快感があっていいじゃねえか。俺は空でも最強だってとこ見せてやる。一大事故についてくよ。Use your knowledge to dominate a dogfight. Yes, yes. Let's go. Hold up. Let let me post this <laughs> right up here on Twitter. <laughs> All right, they they the the the, the people must. <laughs> Let's do this. Mission start. <laughs> Like it's easier to maneuver up here, but they can move in any direction. That's the fun part! <laughs> Let's go. 
Hey, what's good, chap? Asking the important questions. Where, where is Teru? Where, where is Sparkman? ふじょうの時に張り切りすぎて、いくしあの攻撃用のエネルギーはチャージ中だよ。つまり、今回は打てないってことです。私の判断ミスですか。いやいや、あの時はあれで正しかったよ。ああ。でも今回は完全に山本
for full retail sale, like, about an hour ago now. Ah, I got you. Well, hey, I am... I am looking forward to as many people as possible getting their hands on this game. It's... It is that damn good. Looks like we may actually have a, we may actually have come across a new suit we can build. ヒヨカちゃん、今日は迅速な対応良かったよ。ありがとうございます。今日がいるのか。コックピットに声聞こえてたが、いい線行ってたぜ。あんたにもいろいろ事情がありそうだな。何にしても一人じゃどうにもならんだろう。<笑><笑> But, uh, yeah, what you call it, I actually, uh, took a bit of a look around, and, uh, after seeing mention of Megaton Musashi and Megaton Musashi X, it reminded me that I actually had, at the very least, heard of this game before. But, since it was Japan only, I hadn't really been able to find it, or, you know, actually, you know, find it, download it, and buy it for myself. But I'm... Glad we're getting Megaton Musashi W now, because, oh man, man, I'm kind of mad I missed out on this the first, first couple times. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. A worm. As you progress the story, the player character may switch to Arshim. In addition to the character change, the explorable map will also be different. Your inventory and player rank will not be shared with Yamato, so be careful. It's good to know. You can now acquire combination moves in Colosseum battles as well. Dope. Why 
does Sparkman look so dope? Fire Loader also looks absolutely amazing. Like, I want... <laughs> no, I'm I'm seriously hoping that there is, like... Like, one of the... One of the blue colors on this thing. I hope that if there is a blue variant to this, that... It still keeps the flames, and the flames are red. I need a Megas XLR color palette for the fire loader. I need it. <laughs> okay, so that's what the Brahms Soldier looks like. Brahms Knight. Okay, we got the full Mounter Police. Mounter Soldier. Still need the torso and head component for Mad Bison. Torso and arms for Kaiser. He looks cool as fuck. And gor oh my god, Gorilla! Yo! They were not kidding with the name! <laughs> like, just the silhouette alone looks massive! <laughs> and the one arm that's there that I've got so far? Shit. And there are still yet more suits. Yes! <laughs> Yatabushi, huh? That's... that... that's rad. Wild, Karandi Delta, Messenger Z, of course. Re real shit? Your friend just gifted it to you on Steam? That's a that's a friend right there. <laughs> that is that is that is that is a day one. So, to the both of you that have just joined the neighborhood, Rikuti, Rikuti 485, Reikichi Shadow, greatly appreciate you guys popping in, and Reikichi especially. Good looking out with the gifting, man. Like, seriously, there, there is not... There are very few things on this earth that actually get me as hype as having fun with a game and then seeing other people actually getting their hands on it and having fun with it too. That's a dope little sword and shield set. Tempest Rider. Interesting, interesting.
どうしたワームは初めてかまあここは俺たちに任せておけとっておきのを見せてやるオッケー、レッツシー、ワッドディオフォーディスセグメントシブリニューデガンアルゼヤルゾテトゴッテンアニキムサシゼロ I'm sorry, what? I knew it! I knew Victor Jaeger sounded like a freaking protagonist name, but I didn't think he was a pilot. Oh man. That's dope. Oh, that is so dope. Wait, there. Wait, there. There was an anime for this. I love this design for Musashi. Like, this is a killer variant. Oh, let's go. Damn it, they went underground. Get back here. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? さすがにき、楽勝っすね。キャンプ周辺の様子はどうだ。ワームは大体片付いたみたいっすね。地中に隠れている生き残りがいないとも限らない。油断するな。了解っす。Alright, come on. Okay, okay, so, so this means there's another anime that I need to get my hands on, too. Because, <coughs> like, I just finished watching, well, not just, but a while back, I finished doing a rewatch of Gundam Wing. I'm currently watching through Gundam Double O. And next, I was going to actually do a rewatch of G Gundam, but I might have to turn around and watch through Megaton Musashi. Hello, Ganymede Crusher.
three. That's four. All right, come back up. Come back up. Thank you. That is rad. And we got mad bison parts now. We actually got the torso, so that means the whole thing should be available for development. あれは山とが乗っていた機体。彼らがなぜ確かめなきゃ。なぜあなたがこの機体を。やっと喋ってくれたか。あれはシェルターで使われていた機体と同型のもの。あなたは盗賊。<笑> <笑>まあ似たようなもんではあるか。シェルターのコンピューターから設計図を拝借した。それを砂漠の造船工場で作り上げた。この行かれた地上で生きるなら必需品だ。私と取引をしませんか。Oh, damn. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> the turntables. Seems like season two is starting off with a bang. Shidoru wa kawaru ka? Masaka, wareware ga kudeta o okosu to na. Dou shiyo mo naku zako datta, wareware ga na. Ah, ano kata wa wareware o kizoku ni made toritatete kudasatta. Watashi wa mou mokuteki ni tsuite iku no. <laughs>私とてどうよ。身も心もあの方に捧げる少女。グリパス。<laughs> Had her arms to clean off. Anata was Suguni Vakorosana. She don't go on Joe Hong, Osaikom Jimmy, and Totono Madeva. Wakara Nainoka. What does she not see the Wakono Shidoru? I easy the Kina. Hey, what's good? That's it. No, what does she that can know that so? Most of you do. Ha, you know, you're a monoda. What's a good? <laughs> oh. I think my man's done lost. I think my man's done lost a little something in that last skirmish with the Amato. Namely, his marbles. Sorry,しきと言っていたが。私をある場所に運んでほしいのです。お前の運転手になれってか。そうなりますか。それは。<laughs> oh, ドラクター戦艦一石分の物資それでいかがでしょうか<笑> 
面白そうっすねやろうぜ兄貴続けろあなたは浮上するシェルターを見ましたかそういやドンパチやってたよなあの戦いでドラクター戦艦が西の平原に墜落しました私はその戦艦の搭乗員を救いたい代わりに戦艦内の物資を全て差し上げます<笑>面白い話だないいだろうその話乗った本当ですかだが一度ソロンに戻ってからだ遠出には燃料の補給が必要になるそれに西の平原は現在赤色気流に覆われている荒れるのには数日かかりそうだしなソロンというのは俺たちが住んでる町だなんだまたワームだどういった言いやがったのか兄貴あれじゃ武蔵を出せないぜおおおおおおよ、go、go、play this and enjoy it for yourself, Phantasm. I appreciate you popping in. And who knows? Maybe I'll see you online. Trust me, I get it. <laughs> oh, then, 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 You know we're gonna do that first before heading to school, right? <laughs> it's not like we're—it's not like we're timed or anything. お待ちしていました。出撃要請の確認をお願いします。I might have to try and take on that challenge, that stage two challenge mission again. But first, oh wait, mod acquisition. Oh, this is this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be so much fun. Mm. Let's get it. Mission start. Oh, Nova, you can do it.
A lot of mods. Love it. All right, and now we try out this one chip resources. Let's set some bonus items too. I want more legendaries. I want even more legendaries. Increase our experience too. Alright, Rainmaker has got the right idea. So, after this, we'll take our first intermission and then we'll come back. And we'll hit the ground running. Damn, that's all we've been hearing, just legendary, legendary, epic, epic, legendary. Haha. <laughs> no, you don't. Try? You don't have an. Okay. I thought so. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Alright. Time to go to school, I suppose. ホケイ室にご用ですか? Got the bandage for the kid. So, yeah, Edish up the Tokonima, it's one of Skunda. まもなくエディシアに到着します。状況は呼びかけてはいます。
調査部隊からの状況報告を待ちます。敵への警戒を怠らないでください。はい。それにしても悲惨だね。これがイクシアと同じシェルター。あれ、星野さんは？ 今日は非番ですね。スターフィールドのライブ久しぶり。そんなに有名なの？人気急上昇のバンドだよね。私ライブとか行ったことなくて。だから行くんだよ。何事も経験よ経験。うん。あれ、らしくない顔してる。ジュン、もう体はいいの？全然平気。もうピンピンしてるし、今朝も髪がいまいち決まんなくて遅刻しそうになっちゃって、学校まで全力疾走。結局髪は臭々よ。何やってんだか
外で女を調達してくるとはさすがだね。俺たちにもそのおもちゃ貸してくれよ。言ったはずだ。世界が荒廃しても心まで寒むな。<笑>どっちでもいい。そいつで楽しもうぜ。そんなことしてる場合か俺たちのような動けるものが町を守らなくてどうするあんたのそういうのもういいからよさっさと女を渡せ<笑>さあ次くそ覚えてろよ多めに見てやってくれみんなギリギリなんだ死の恐怖と戦いながらギリギリのところで自分を保ってるあのビクトいつここを建てるんですか慌てなさんな気流の動きを完全に読むことはできない23日ってとこだとは思うがなそうですかいつな,なんじゃそりゃどうした風の手下にやられたどうやら俺はやつの支配地域に入っちまったらしいはあクゼドルドははあまさか知らねえのか学園を牛耳る影の支配者クゼマサムネ誰もが知ってる学園の有名人まあみんな怖がって名前をやすやす口には出さないんだけどねああ知らねえなまあい報復に行くぜやめとけやつの強さは次元が違うお前そいつとやったことあんのかいやみんな知ってることだろとにかくやつはやべえんだってそんなやつをたまたま俺だけ知らなかったのかなんか妙だバカ知るぞ気に食わねえ俺はクゼに会いに行くぞ<笑>なんだ霧島かあ昇降口に来いだとクゼのところに行くのおい、なんか面倒なやつらしいじゃねえか。ヤマト、変だと思わないおクゼマサムネ、圧倒的な強さに加え、生徒会をも動かす人脈を持ち合わせている。不良同士の揉め事も力で解決し。掟を破った者は血祭りにあげる学園を裏で取り仕切る影のドンああ大体のところは聞いたよなんでそんなやつがいたことになってんのあじゃあお前も彼の朝だよねおめみよそもそもそんな人物がいたことは僕たちは知らなかったつまりこれは僕ら以外のみんなが騙されているそう考えるのは妥当だね記憶操作だだとしても会いに行くしかないだね
Way to ruin the moment, June. Yeah, and back to this. みなみさん。僕はどうしたら。あなたが。その希望の天使に出会えることを祈って。残念ながら。私にはなれなかったみたい。世界を救える。希望の天使。みなみさんがそうなるんじゃなかったの。私はあなたたち地球の人々と分かり合いたいのです。行かせろ、テル。邪魔をすればお前を撃つ。まさか彼女が希望の天使。少し話せるかね。南司令の遺体から胎児の細胞が発見された。しかも生きている。遺伝子を調べて驚いたよ。あの子は異星人と地球人の間に生まれた子だ。南司令と君の根。すいません。やっ。何を謝ることがある。あの子は。テルズダディ
私の心差しに従うか。よい。今なら戴冠式の準備で見張りが手薄にございます。参りましょう。すまいな。できる。Okay, I did say that we were going to be uh, going on intermission, and we're already an hour and a half through when we were, when I was only planning on having us on here for three. So, let's go ahead and take that midstream intermission off uh, for the new folks that just joined today. It's real simple. Every hour, every hour, hour and a half or so, we usually try to give ourselves a chance to get up, stretch, you know, maybe get some water, you know, something to drink, something to eat, you know, just... You know, get yourself moving so that way you're not stuck sitting for so long. I mean, it's it's pretty tough to want to get up and get away, especially from something like this that, you know, will pretty much have you locked in. But you got to give yourself a chance to get up and stretch a little bit. Maybe even do a brief exercise. Who knows? But that right there is the plan for right now. So I'm going to get up, grab a drink, stretch, get some fresh air. But y'all know the drill. Grab a snack and come right back.
right. Welcome back, everybody. So, here is the plan. Hold on. Once I get this loaded up real fast. There we go. So, here's the plan. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep rocking at it. The plan is to go until about eight o'clock, like I said. So, a good three hours worth, and then after that, I'm gonna bring the stream down. Maybe do a little uh, off-stream grinding, but other than that, just rest for the evening. Maybe try and get a little game time on Warframe. But then we'll be back tomorrow. And we'll probably run a little bit more of this, or I might fire up Steam, and we'll get started on the uh, the uh, early access release of Death Must Die. So, I figured we could give that a shot, but then, Friday afternoon, Friday afternoon after I get back from work, our 5 o'clock stream is going to be Stellar Blade. That's the plan for the rest of the week. <clears throat> so, without further ado, let's get right back to it. Oh, this is where the decal shop is at. Oh, there was some over here. The Xishos is more eager. ファンタジー小説に純様直伝の姿勢を良くするストレッチノートを差し上げますわ。ついでに純様の魅力について いや、助かるよ。実はさ、僕好きな子に振られちゃって。でも、どうしても諦めきれなくて。それで決めたんだ。運動部に入ってダイエットするって。お願い。Brother, that's not gonna happen. Oh, 
<laughs> Very true. Very true. いいよ。純ちゃんからもらったインナーマッスルに聞くトレーニングボンをあげるね。結構負荷がかかってきついんだよ。あのスタイルは努力の賜物なんだ。うん。Not a whole lot. Having a little chill time after work. Business as usual. お前が小坂。てめえ何者だ。ただの生徒ではなさそうだね。どっから湧いて出たの？おかしいな。聖国学園影の支配者久前正宗が学校中が知ってる公認情報なのだが、悪いが俺は知らねえし、いろいろと
brilliant. Simply brilliant. ロークハンガーへ緊急出撃要請。さすがだ。どうだ。最強は俺だ。覚えとけ。一大事ヤマト。持ち味はその奇抜な発想力。それが敵の意表を突き、勝機を見出す。さすがローグのパイロット。なんだそう偉そうに。大丈夫ですか、先輩。いつもこんな時だな。くぜ。帰ってきたらしっかりお前の秘密晴らしてもらうぜ。お手並み拝見と行こうか。ここまでは計画通りだな。<笑> Ah. Whatever their plan is, I don't like it. お待ちしていました。出撃要請の確認をお願いします。Yeah, Yamato was not, he was not fucking around. Excuse me. Double check something real fast before we head out.
僕とヤマトとリュウゴの3人もう一方はアメミヤ君とキリシマササオトメさんのチームだベールお前いつから隊長になったこのメンバーでこういう指示が出せるのって僕じゃないのかな確かにヤマトじゃねえよなうっせえタゴま元気のねえテルよりはいいかこちらアメミヤ今のところ僕たちの方には異常はないよ了解引き続き警戒してくれいい感じじゃん楽勝楽勝そんなこと言って前にローグ一機壊したの誰だっけ頼むからもう壊さないでよはあ私のおかげでみんな助かったんでしょうがそうだったかいいからとっとと行くぞそそれは、それは、それは、それなどうしてくれたのあの子は何をしてくれたのあの子は何をしてくれたのあの子は何をしてくれたのあの子は何をしてくれたのあの子は何をThat's a new one. Balrog. Atarashi type of idol. Hitonata, Kondo, Hono, Hakunoka. Dark Night, Yuri. Tomorrow, you'll keep Julio Gatis. For you cannot find Bomo, Hakitakino, Gario, called the name of Badrok Toshima. Hono, Machin Badrok. Joto Janega. Oh, damn. Holy shit, here you go. Megaton Fancy. 
ベロアギデスなぜあの者なのです力を試している私の期待に応えられる男か<笑>どうした恐れながら女王が逃亡しました何申し訳ございませんデミルガウラが手引きした模様です女王ならアーシャムのイルムを遠方からでも検知することは容易にございます。泳がせていればアーシャムにたどり着けるか。シドルが地球を征服したようだよ。我々から逃れて母なる星を襲うとは。因果応報と言うべきか。それは自らの行為を否定していることになるわ、アダム。いや、客観的に見ての話だよ、イブ。派生士は根絶やしにせねばならん。神聖なる我々の根源を。Okay, now we got Adam and Eve. The fuck? Oh, size of the outfit was just one of the things that I was looking for. I'm not sure. ああ。はい。まずは東通りの民家に薬を届けに行く。準備ができたら出発だ
Hmm. Okay. So this game has literally... So this game has literally expanded once again. And I mean, like, damn near doubled its own size. Just by now allowing simultaneous play and switching between Yamato and Arshin. Different areas to explore. We're probably going to be getting into more sortie missions with Yamato, with uh, Musashi O. I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it, though. Finally get Captain Ibushi on the crew now, too. そうか。だが俺はゼロの方がしっくりくるっつうか。それっておじいちゃんがスマホに馴染めないとかそういう類いのやつだよね。おおじいちゃんだと Damn. She said, is it because you were old man and you stuck using a Nokia? <laughs> when we all got Samsung Galaxy A10s and shit. ここの対戦ゲームメガロボファイター2ってパイロット適性を見る機能がついてるんですよ。何？聞くところによると。あの一大事君や土方君の適性のチェックもここのデータが使われたとか。そんなことで決めていたのか。試してみたらどうですか？ご自分の実力。I mean, you might as well. Push that. 
ゲームもなかなか面白いもんだな。若い連中がハマるのも納得だ。んボスのお出ましか。よし、勝負を決めるぞ。終了。イブシタイ、キャンセル。と、これはゲームだったか。思わず夢中になってしまった。See? Old dog, new tricks. ほう、さすがおっさん。経験がものを言うって感じかな。隊長だ。広島、お前はもう少し大人を敬えんのか。何言ってるんですか。隊長のことは最高にリスペクトしてますって。だだがな。うん。では、イブシ隊長もメガト
またヤマトくんの戦闘の映像を見てるのうんやっぱかっこいいよね僕もこんな風にローグに乗って悪いやつをやっつけてみたいなだったらさやってみるローグの操縦え何言ってるのシミュレーター室ならなんとか忍び込めるよね俺ならあれくらいのセキュリティすぐ外せるしパイロット適正テストミッションを起動してみるようんでもなんか緊張するな大丈夫さ君は誰よりも高性能なんだからそれなんか微妙な褒め言葉だね<笑> That almost sounded like a compliment <笑>いいのかなローグに乗りたいって思わず言っちゃったけどでもせっかく金田一君が協力してくれたんだしパイロットになったつもりで楽しんでみようかな But seriously listen to this and tell me it does not sound like you're Listen to this and tell me it doesn't sound like you're playing cyberbots or armored warriors. Or again, Star Gladiator. Hey, what's good, Andre? Oh, when you say Twitter BS, you mean, you know, the usual suspects whining and bitching about Stellar Blade?
Pretty much. Like, it is legitimately just... You know, it's... It's anti-fans. It's... It's culture vultures. I mean, that's... 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 That's all there is to it. Alright? It's... The people that called gaming and the people that called gaming enthusiasts the out group, you know, the people that, you know, the people with that would, you know, talk shit behind people's backs for, you know, being interested in Yu-Gi-Oh, back when, you know, back when they were in, back when they were in school, or for, you know, trading Pokemon cards or trading Pokemon via link cables or shit like that. The people that the people that used to call us weird, even amongst our own age group have now seen the type of popularity, the type of growth, the type of true diversity that this hobby has to offer and this hobby, ha this hobby has fostered. They see that and it's not, oh, we, we want to get in there so that we can enjoy it just like you do. No, it's we want a piece of the pie. We want to control it. We want to say we're cool. And just, you know, brush, you know, relegate you to your own little corner. Alright, ne never mind the fact that it's, you know, gaming enthusiasts, folks like us, that are now, that are now grown up and putting all that money into the hobby and into the industry. Exactly. And now you also see why I took such a hard stance when people like Matt Walsh or like, you know, when people like Matt Walsh or Brianna Wu or even fucking Jack Thompson decided to pipe up and start saying, oh, maybe certain video games aren't so bad now. Nah. Y'all were the motherfuckers that would have just as easily pushed me out into the fucking street. Y'all were the same kind of people who, if you had the balls, would be the ones trying to put cats like me headfirst into trash cans or into lockers back when we were on campus. But now all of a sudden the gaming and manga and, and anime, you know, now that that shit's mainstream, now that it's popular, it's, oh, we want a piece of that too. We can, we can be the cool kids too. Fuck y'all. That's all I gotta say to them. Exactly. And it's a lot of these same motherfuckers that have poisoned the well too. Because... Tales of Kenzera, right? That game that is literally on the verge of coming out right now. Tales of Kenzera. That is an action RPG. That is an action game based on African lore. Right? Tales of Kenzera looks fantastic. The origins behind that game. I mean, the fact that the dude actually went into developing, went... You know, took years to make this game as an homage to his late father. Nothing but the purest intentions behind putting together this game. And actually putting out something, putting out something new, putting out something unique. This is what we've been talking about all along. Get out there. Make your own shit. You don't have to pull you don't have to pull others down. You can really contribute. And let and let the market of free ideas amongst the gaming community. Let the meritocracy sort itself out in regards to your product. Tales of Kenzera would have been an attempt to do that. However, yo, a Swahili language option? 
That sounds dope as fuck. However, the fact that SBI hitched their wagon to that game has immediately got people reacting and going, you know what? SBI is involved. I'm not going to fucking touch it. It's got people who would have otherwise, you know, jumped on it and given it a shot looking at it side eye. This is the same kind of shit that people have been have been trying to warn folks about. And now, now that we actually got people out there, you know, you know, really trying to do their thing, really trying to put their foot in it. You got leeches like these sensitivity reader companies coming in and saying, let us help you. But all, all they are doing is literally being the albatross hanging around these games necks. Hanging around these developers necks. I mean, shit. I was, I was actually kind of, kind of keen on giving Tales of Kenzera a shot. But, I gotta vote with my wallet. I'm voting with my wallet, and I'm voting with my conscience. You know what? Brad, Brad pretty much said it best right there. Literal gangsters running protection rackets treat those they target with more respect than the journalists and those posers do in in nerd culture and geek culture media. No, I Jago's, I do not blame you. I do not blame you in the in the slightest for your criticisms of for your criticisms of and I love fucking Warframe. But what Digital Extremes has done with Warframe... Like, yes, even considering... Even considering a lot of their quite... You know... And I mean quite Canadian liberal leanings... For all of the missteps that DE has made, they have shown that you can still focus on the player base. You can still focus on trying to put out content that actually engages your players. They focus on doing the job. And keeping a lot of their political biases and leanings as much off to the sidelines as possible. They... They have shown that they will not let that shit affect their work. And that right there is one of the big reasons why I have stuck with playing Warframe as long as I have. Because there is no... There is no brow beating. You know, there, it's, it's not on the nose if there is any sort of agenda that they're trying to push. Like, if there's a charity... If there is a charity that they're trying to promote, that's one thing. But by and large, they make it a point to keep they make it a point of keeping that shit out of the game, or at the very least, if it's in the game, it's like, oh, we have this right over here. But it's whatever. Yes, I I do I do remember some of that, Jagos. I do. This was this was still back when I was relatively new. Like, this was back when I was still relatively new to Warframe. But yeah, that shit is far in the rear view. And I can do nothing but applaud him for it. And I mean, that's really... No, that's really all I want. It's like what I said when I... It's like what I said when I retweeted that, uh... That Digital Foundry... That Digital Foundry review of Stellar Blade earlier. You know, even though those were the same 
limp-wristed hypocrites that played, that I guess played the beta or, you know, saw some of the screenshots and were like, eh, Eve's design is too distracting. If you are going to be reviewing a game, if you are going to be reviewing a product, leave my preferences at the door. I want to know if I'm getting my money's worth out of this. Does it work? Does it play? How is the how are the performance benchmarks? What are the audio visuals like? It doesn't matter if you have a preference for them. What are they like? What are the audio visuals like? How do the mechanics play? Is it intuitive? Are there options for people to actually get in there and play at any level so long as there is a chance for them to get started? I mean, quite frankly, I would say there are maybe one or two outlets that I would still look to for gaming news. Outside of actually, you know, looking at coverage for events. Gematsu is one. Gematsu is most certainly that one. Hell, I don't think I can really think of too many, too many aside from that. Niche Gamer's on my shit list for basically letting itself become a fucking den of trolls. IGN can kiss my ass. Games Radar? Kiss my ass. Kotaku? The less said about them, the better. Yeah, still, still not really forgiving them for that plagiarism shit. Dual Shockers? Yeah, flush them. Fucking flush them. And then, and then when they, yeah, yeah, Niche Gamer had, in, had numerous times plagiarized Gematsu's articles, word for word. I mean, I, honestly, Tech Raptor? Nah, Tech. Tech Raptor, Tech Raptor got themselves way too caught up in a lot of the culture war bullshit. I mean, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. I'll put it to you this way. Outside of Gematsu, if there's probably one other person that I can think of Sorry, two other people that I would genu genuinely trust for game reviews if they actually got into doing, you know, more recent stuff or were able to, like, really keep up with reviewing games. Okay, three. Din and Brawlers, Ad and Brawlers Avenue for the beat-em-ups. Hell yeah. AVGN. Now, real shit... If James Rolfe actually decided to make the leap forward and start actually doing reviews and coverage of more modern games, oh, fuck yeah. I would tune in every goddamn issue. No question. And three, Happy Console Gamer. Like, tho those three outside of Gematsu, yeah. I I I take a look at their stuff. I would subscribe to their magazine. That's why hell, that's part of the reason why I am so invested in not just playing the games that I stream, but also doing the reviews for them after I hit credits. Because I want to be like even with as long as it would take me to actually get these reviews out, I want to be the kind of reviewer Hell, the kind of the kind of streamer that, even with as much bias as I might have towards a game, even with as excited as I might have as I might be for for certain games, I want to be the one that sits down, plays through it, 
gives you my genu genuine responses and reactions and gives you the straight dope on the game from someone who is in my audience's shoes. Like, I want to be able to sit, I want to be able to sit down, play through a game, take as long as I need to with it, review it and go, hmm, you know what? If you're in the same boat that I am and you had to spend money on this, let me give you an idea of whom this might be good for, even if it's not my particular cup of tea. You know, someone who will actually get out there, review this shit, Speak plainly, not just with, not just with, you know, fellow gamers like myself, but even speak plainly with industry professionals. And just give people the straight 411. Make people informed and educated about their purchases and then let them decide for themselves. I mean, real talk, as far as far as fighting games go, as far as fighting games go, Max is still solid. Not gonna lie. Max is still solid. But I'll tell you what, if Bolt Strike or B Plus Effort or Main Event decided to really get into fighting game reviewing and doing that shit full time, As far as I'm concerned, Max wouldn't get any of my views after that. Just because I trust Event, B+, and Bolt Strike a hell of a lot more. Yes, sir. And note, this this isn't to take away from what Max has done. This isn't, this isn't even to take away from what Max is still doing. This isn't to take away from his passion for fighting games. I mean, it's... It's there. It's pure. It's it's well known and well documented. But I legitimately feel like Max is in a position where he's got a lot to lose. He's got a lot to lose and thus he has to sand off a lot of the rough edges. He has to. Like Max Max is just in that position as a popular, if not the premier fighting game streamer and fighting game content creator, you know? So Max can only go so far. But if you want something, you know, if you want something unfiltered, if you want something, you know, if you want something real, you know, something that's not gonna bullshit you, something that's not gonna insult your, t your intelligence, I feel, then there are better options out there should they decide to toss their hat into the arena. Indeed, Max is where most people go without the drama. Yeah. Like, Max... Okay, how can I put this? Yeah, Ma Max is not a Max is not a bad guy at all. And yeah, he has had his connections to Capcom and Iron Galaxy, so he's definitely more of an industry insider. Exactly. Right there, he he has had major connections to Capcom and the Iron Galaxy, so he is definitely more of a developer, more of a you know. He's like a step above community management, if that makes sense, right? But again, it's it's because of that position that you got to understand. Max is probably one of the like I would I would rank him out there as literally one of the dopest dudes out there as far as fighting game content is concerned. All right, Max is you know Max is legit. But just as you said earlier, Andre, he doesn't address 
you know, there are certain issues that no matter what your position need to be addressed. And Max hasn't done that. Max is the type of person who is Nintendo in a lot of ways, in that he doesn't court controversy. Max doesn't court controversy, and he cannot afford to. Thus, again, if you're looking for someone... If you're looking for someone that'll actually be a little bit more on the level... Exactly. He talks about things when it's safe. It's not a bad thing. It, it really isn't. Well, let me rephrase that. It's not a negative thing. But once again, there are... You know, there are more suited people. Exactly. Some people have to be careful. Some big people have to be careful with their words. That's just that. That is just a that is just a fact of life. That is the nature of the beast. Exactly. Egg, egg, fuck, exactly. Right. I mean, I'll even say this right now. Even with what I've, uh, you know, even with what I've been able to achieve recently, you know, making my start as making my start as a voice actor. I have comparatively little. I I feel like I don't have much, if anything, to lose. So, if... I will say this. If something... If I catch wind of something going on... Amongst the cast that I'm working with, which, as, as far as I've seen, everybody that I've been working with on Project Green Dream has been top-notch. These are some solid fucking people. But I will indeed be one of the first to actually say something. No, that, that's why I label myself as a not-so-silent protagonist. But back to the matter at hand, that being, you know, actually try, actually building up more of the grassroots of hobbyist and enthusiast media, enthusiast content creation, enthusiast, you know, enthusiast interpersonal, interpersonal conversation. Like, it's, it's going to hit... It's going to hit a boiling point. Like, if, if it hasn't done so already. I mean, Stellar Blade is just the most recent flashpoint here. But more people are now seeing a lot of the... You know, more people are now seeing a lot of the shit as it's hitting the fan. And a lot of people are reacting. And the well... The well has been most decidedly poisoned... Because of a lot of the major players already in the industry right now are acting in bad faith. Like the Western community is getting upset with the gaming industry. A lot of our, a lot of our compatriots, a lot of our counterparts in the East are now really speaking up and saying, you know what? Fuck what they're saying over the West, over in the West. Stick with your vision as much as possible. Like there's, there is a sea change starting, and the only way it can be stopped, 
will be if the opposition, if those culture vultures that are still trying to amass power within the, within the industry, within various hobbies, if they turn around and do something truly drastic, if they go completely mask off, and you and I both know, when that happens, when that tide, hit, when that tide hits that breaking line, When they go, when these people go full mask off, and it seems like they are, it seems like they are damn near an inch away from doing so already. Right, Pal Pal World Hell Divers Two. And shrouded. Yeah, Triple A is at a point where they are downsizing. Triple A is at a point where a lot of companies have just lost their funding. You know, a lot of companies are shutting down. Even more so, there are a lot of d developers that are now really seeing. Oh yeah, I I, rem I remember seeing what was going on with the crew. But as I was saying though, there's there's been like it it has hit a point where now folks are really starting to see the effect of allowing these sensitivity readers, these culture vultures that are a part of these consulting companies, these culture vultures that have been getting into game localization quote unquote now they're seeing the deleterious effects of allowing these people who don't even play the games let alone respect the user base get involved I mean, no, talking about Square Enix real quick. It, it Suffice it to say, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth did not, did not hit the kind of expectations that Square Enix was aiming for. For multiple reasons. Oh yeah, no. Go ahead, Jagos. Do your thing. Yo, I have been ranting for so long. Sorry. I have been having this much-needed conversation with y'all for so long that we only got maybe like 10 minutes or so before I got to end the stream for the evening. So... Let's finish this up. But a lot of this... Most definitely is conversations that need to be had. So I'm thinking what I'll probably wind up doing is just taking what I have planned for the Sorry. Taking what I have planned for the W for the double KO arcade podcast. Slapping it all together and just getting right down to actually broadcasting and producing episodes because this these are conversations that need to be had. And again, if if I got to get out there, like if I really got to get out there and start getting back into, you know, hosting shows and doing reviews that actually provide the kind of content that people that people have been damn near begging for, then I'll throw my hat in the arena too. It may not you know, it may not be the best produced stuff. But again, instead instead of tearing others down, I'm just gonna get in there and try to contribute and build as much content for people as I can.
Like we need we need more spaces where we can just gather, talk about games, and not have to deal with all the hypocrisy and all the double standards. And I will do everything in my power to reach out to you know to reach out to industry insiders. You know, get them on the you know get them on the podcast as well and just contribute. We need that more than ever. Oh, and one more thing regarding Tekken 8. I'm sorry it's come to that, but also, Andre, thank you. Thank you for reminding me of that, because you have basically solidified my decision to hold off on purchasing Tekken 8. Period. Like, un until they do another one of those, uh, you know, those discounted Ultimate Editions that literally have all of the content over the course of the game's lifespan, like with Tekken 7, I'm just going to hold off on my purchase. I'm going to save my money. Tek Tekken 8, just... It ain't worth it. Like, at this point, yeah. Like, the only the only fighting game that's really on my radar at this point for what I would want to spend my money on is uh, Fatal Fury City of the Wolves. Is this it? Is this the boss? Okay, that tackle did it. Good job, Coda. New right. Nah, and both 
Bandai Namco and NetherRealm have been fucking up on that part. Not tackling, you know, not tackling the issues that are affecting their online play. Like, like, pluggers. I mean, I will say, you know, NetherRealm at least has, you know, at least has the quitalities, right? But, the fact that, the fact that there's still a lot of that stuff going on in their communities, and that it's so rampant, and that there's nothing really more substantive being done. And then, of course, Bandai Namco just not tackling the plugging. Like, not tackling it effectively at all. But, trying to put more, trying to put more stuff into their, you know into their in-game shops and shit. You know, it's monetize, monetize, monetize. すごいじゃん。やったね。僕にだってできるんだ。こんなこと。では、パイロット1名追加登録と。いや、it's monetization at the expense of moderation. All right, and that's Coda added to the pilot's roster. Uh, but yeah, we've uh, we've actually discussed quite a bit during this last part of the stream. So let me go ahead and uh, let me go ahead and kick us back over to the lobby so I can bring this to a close for the evening, huh? So yeah, that's three hours and some change. More Megaton Musashi W. The game is now officially out in the wild. So uh, you know what? While I will still be reviewing this game once I hit credits, I am definitely going to say this. This is a game that is definitely going to respect your time and your dollar. If you're looking for, uh, like, if you know, if you're looking for a solid mech action game, this is definitely one to pick up. This I feel. Between this and, Ar and Armored Core 6, it'll tide you over between now and Gundam Breaker 4. That's for certain. If you're looking for... Okay, if you're, if you're looking for... If you're looking for a new anime to play, and you've already got your fill of Grand Blue Relink, check this out. When, whenever, you got, whenever you got the chance... If you decide you want to hold off and, you know, not spend so much on it, maybe wait for a discount, that's fine, too. I will not hold it against you. But I will say this. I'm having a blast with this game so far. And no, no, I haven't finished the game yet, Chop. Like, like I said, we are literally at the start of what would basically be Season 2. Like if 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 this was if this was the Megaton Musashi anime, which apparently there is an anime out for this thing, and I didn't even know it, we would be basically at the start of season two. But yeah, no, I didn't. I, honestly, I'll say I didn't make that much. I didn't get that much distance through the game tonight because we wound up getting to talking. We wound up. We wound up getting to discuss a whole lot of shit that needed to be talked about, and we will continue to talk about as the days and weeks go on. 
But before it gets too late, let me go on and send you all off with the daily reminder as per usual. Check it out. Ahem. As soon as I get these ads off. Of, there we go. Ahem. Check this out. The sadness you may be feeling doesn't make you any less worthy of self-love, self-respect, or the love and respect of others. Now look, I'll tell you this right now. I am not immune to negative self-talk, especially when shit's really starting to, you know, especially when shit's really starting to bear down on me, right? I'm not I'm not immune to negative self-talk. But no matter what you're struggling with, like no matter you know, no matter what you're struggling with, no matter what fight you're facing offline, just keep in mind that no matter what, just by the simple virtue of, you know, just by the simple virtue of being a human being. Until, well, no, I'm not even going to say that. Just by the simple virtue of being a human being, you are well worth, at the very least, having and expressing respect for yourself. If, if nobody else has your back, and if I'm not there to have your back, Take it from me. Dig deep. And. Dig deep and in some cases. Sorry. In most cases. It'll, it'll turn out that all you need to do. Is look in the mirror. To find the wingman that you need to help you finish the fight. There's going to be points where all you will have to rely on is you. And I'm going to tell you right now. It's more than enough to get the job done. But, uh, yeah. That said, though, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go for the evening so that way y'all can get some rest. I need to get some rest for work tomorrow, but we will be back, and we will be hitting it hard. 5 p.m. Pacific. Let's see. Tomorrow is Thursday, so yeah, we still got one more day. So, tomorrow afternoon, 5 p.m. Pacific, we'll be back with a little bit more Megaton Musashi W. We'll, you know, we, we'll be trying to move the story forward a little bit more, and uh, depending on what happens, probably getting into more serious conversations. But, keep an eye out, because Friday... If you guys aren't already playing it, y'all can pop by my place. Friday, 5 p.m., Stellar Blade. Don't miss it. Till then, remember the four big rules. Stay happy, stay hydrated, stay gaming, and as always, stay good, neighborhood. Get some rest. I'll see y'all tomorrow.